Hi, this video is going to be about um, adding weight to this car. Uh, the problem we've got with this car is the uh, BRSCC's minimum weight with the car plus the driver is 500 kilograms. The minimum weight of these cars is 420 kilograms and this car easily exceeds that, so that's not a problem. But, we stand on these scales. Well, it says 60.9 with all my clothes on and a few things in my pockets, but really it can be as little as 58 kilos. So, I've got to find some something like 20 kilos of extra weight to keep me legal in this car. So today's video is gonna be about where we can put that. Despite the fact that there's a minimum weight, there's still an advantage to being light, and that's because you can put the extra ballast weight wherever you like. Um, I have tried on this car, it was the other car really that I really tried it on. Putting the weight right down at the front, so that's ahead of the front axle. And the fact that it's above the, the front axle means that it, it slightly jacks the, well, takes a little bit of uh, weight off the rear axle. And, what I found was that it, it helped with the understeer, it cut down on the understeer, but these cars don't have a problem with that, so it's not the best place for it. The best place for it is actually um, nice and central under the under the seat. Uh, there's the seat. That's where I ran with it in Ulton Park, and to be honest, that was the best place for it, and it just left the, the handling, the balance to be sorted out with conventional ways with roll bars and things like that. So that's where I'm going to put it, but it needs to be very secure, because obviously if you have a crash, and there's like, well, I'm gonna need over 10 kilos of ballast. If you have a 30G crash, that's like a 300 kilogram load that's gotta be stopped somehow. So it needs to be properly secured and that's what we're gonna do. Right, this is my nicely molded seat. So in Open Park, we weighed the car with the full tank of fuel and everything ready to go. The car was 438 kilos and I was about 61 kilos with me race suit and holding the nose for the car. So we put um, the rest of the weight that we needed in a little compartment that I've made. It's time to dispense with this dodgy little panel I made. Oh, there's a nice area there just in front of the fuel tank and behind the fire extinguisher. Really perfect area, that's where my arse goes in the car. And if I could fill that with lead, it would just be the ideal place for it, for the bulk of the lead. We can use the, a little bit of weight to like tune it in other places. So, so I've made a little wooden frame and that frame is about the size of the space underneath the seat that I saw a minute ago. I decided that the ground would absorb way too much of the heat. So before the, the metal had melted, all the heat would have gone into the ground. So I found this in the garden. I'm going to stick that to the bottom of my frame. And it'll burn a little bit, but I don't really mind about that. And it'll act as an insulator to the ground. So I think that, that's going to work much better. This could take a while. And it started raining. It's like the Terminator. Like Terminator 2. <laughs> Do you know what might have been smarter is to put this in the oven for a bit. In fact, that's the smart thing to do. I've had a better idea, as I don't use my oven, I'm going to use this pristine brand new baking tray that I found at the bottom of it that I didn't know was there because I've never opened the oven door. And I'm going to chuck that in and then just melt it. Easy in it. And then I'll use the blowtorch to just like sort it out around the edges. So, that's, that's the new plan. <laughs> Fucking heavy this. Fucking hell. This gives us the opportunity to weigh exactly what I'm going to be putting in there. Yeah, about 11 kilos, 10.7 kilos, just what I was after. That's heavy. I decided to do it on the hop just so that um, in case there's any oil, I don't want like the oils making bits of lead like bursting and letting lead go everywhere because I might have to put food in that one day. <laughs> and it's really poisonous, this stuff. It'll melt pretty easy now. It's definitely looking like the Terminator now. You can see all like the oxide forming on it actually. It's, that's sort of like, it's like oxide floating on top of like liquidy, pure liquid lead. Look at that. This is evil stuff though, don't forget. It's very heavy, but also it's just evil. It's poisonous, really toxic for you. It's wiped out civilizations, this stuff. That's my fire alarm, or smoke alarm. So it'll be all the um, all the oil and things that were on the lead before we, we put it, well, we start to melt and it, it'll just be burning. But you can see there's actual bits of rust there from where it's had metal on it and other contaminants. But it's, it's starting to go now. It's pretty much all there's probably more molten lead than there is like solid lead now this is more dangerous than driving the car I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time just because of the way it cools down too quick
Maybe if he kicked a bit more, he'd know how to pick up a tray, right? You ready? Yeah. Um. Okay. Is it now? Quite a bit of splashback, that wouldn't it? Should be a bit lighter this time, so maybe I can do a better job of it. That was a bit better, wasn't it? A bit better. Woo! You see that boil on the water? Yeah. There we have it. We've got about nine kilos there. Uh, it just fits nicely between two chassis rails on the Mondial. So even if you'd have a crash, it's gonna whack into them rather than just go flying. So, you know, I'm quite pleased with that actually. Well, probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done in motorsport. <laughs> Worse than some of my dodgy overtaking maneuvers, but we've got it. And there we go, look, all nicely installed, nice under my seat, and it fits in between all those uh, pieces of uh, nice solid chassis. So if you do have a crash, uh, obviously I'm gonna secure it down a bit better than it is, but all the load's going to go into the chassis rail rather than having to like rely on a bolt to keep it still. So yeah, there we go. I, I quite like that. Bit dodgy, like I'd, I'd be very careful if I tried to replicate this yourself. But um, it does do a nice job and it does fit nicely. So you know, I'm I'm pleased. We've lost two kilos though, <laughs> so I'll have to find somewhere else to put it. But um, I might put that. I'll use that to uh, like uh, as ballast to adjust the handling of the car whenever um, whenever I need it.